Last tutorial I showed you a little bit about uh, particles. This time I'm going to show you how to superimpose those particles that you created in the last tutorial over some real video. So let's get started. Let's uh, click here and add a UV sphere. Okay, and in the front view here I'm going to hit Shift-0 to move the camera. And I'll make this the front view again. We'll scale that down, that sphere down, which is going to be our particle emitter. Uh, in the camera view here, we're going to add a background image. We're going to load an image. I'm going to go to where I have a video of myself and import it. I'm going to tell it that it's a movie. I want it to auto refresh. And then this frames here, we're going to click here once. It adds one frame. Click it again. It adds the number of frames in the video clip. And there I am. As we move through the frames of the video, you can see me moving my hand around. And you can see right here that um, the uh, number of frames in that video clip are 169. So let's make our project 169 frames. And now let's go, we still have our sphere selected here. We'll go to object window, which is F7, particles, new, it's an emitter. Uh, let's set the amount to, I think about 350 would be good. Uh, if we scroll up in frames, we can see my fingers start to come into frame around 50, so let's, or 25, so we'll set this to start emitting at 25, and we'll say to finish emitting at uh, 169, which is the, the frame, uh, total frames of our project, might change that later. I, I want my particles to be random, and uh, I'm going to bake from 1 to 169. And so far, so good. Uh, and actually, we can now start animating our ball here. So what I'm going to do, and you know what, I'll make this full screen to make it easier for you to see. Uh, I'm going to grab the sphere, bring it off to the side here. I'm going to hit I to add a keyframe. And frame 25, my finger starts coming in. And we're just going to track my finger. Every five to 10 frames, I'm gonna move the sphere and add a keyframe in. And this will take a little while to do. Doesn't have to be exact for this. Every once in a while going back and seeing the last few frames we did. I'm just getting the basic movement of my finger. I said it doesn't have to be exact for this. It's particles aren't going to be they're going to be trailing and they're going to be bouncing off the sphere randomly, the emitter randomly, so they don't have to be right on, just pretty close. Like I said, every five or ten frames, we're setting the key frames, and Blender will obviously do all the frames in between. Looking good so far. Okay, that's about as far as I go. So now that we got that, we can press Alt-A and see the animation. And you can see the particles being admitted. We still have to uh, make sure we bake this out. And we'll render this last little frame here. Looking good. Uh, let's add some uh, material to this. Let's try maybe a yellowish color. It's kind of a yellowish green. You pick the color you want. We'll choose halo, and under shaders, we'll choose lines. See how that looks. Ooh, it's all glittery. How nice. And so now we have me in the background there. Or we don't have me in the background when we render. How do we render? If you've watched other uh, tutorials I've done, 
you'll see that uh, we have to now go into a node editor. So let's just turn this into our node editor, turn on composite nodes, use nodes, backdrop, and you can see we've got our render view here. I'm going to add another input uh, and we'll make it an image. If we click here, you already see the video because we have it imported as a background view. Let's uh, tell it that it is 169 frames. And uh, so far, so good. Now we need to add a, go down to color and choose alpha over. And we will connect our scene to the bottom here. And we'll add an output of view. And there you go. But you can see there's uh, blue around the particles. Let's try turning this up to one. There we go. So far, so good. Okay, now all we have to do is connect the output of that to our composite window here. Choose our options in here for compositing. Uh, MPEG 2 would be good for this. Don't have to worry about audio. Uh, and 169 frames. And we have to make sure we select do composite. So let's uh, render out a frame. There we go, looking good. Um, and so I'm going to render out this video and I'll put a link to the final product because it's going to take a, a little bit to render here uh, in this video. It'll be in the description and probably on the screen somewhere right now. Visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this. Hope you enjoyed our first little look at particle emitters in Blender.